The New York Jets think Quincy Williams can be a pro bowler in 2022. Do I buy it? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, I'll be talking about the New York Jets belief in Quincy Williams. Before we get started today, I just wanted to mention you can follow on social media at Matt O'Leary NY. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the Just Jets podcast. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out the Patreon where you get bonus New York Jets content. You get articles on Fridays. You get Exit 16 West on Thursdays. And this week's guest is Will Parkinson from the Turn on the Jets podcast. So in an article from The Athletic, Connor Hughes was reporting that the Jets believe Quincy Williams can be a pro bowler if he reaches his full potential with the New York Jets in 2022. Um, so obviously we're going to break that down. That's very high expectations for me. It's very lofty expectations for me. This is someone that they found uh, pretty much as someone who was you know, available to sign, just another claim that they put in before the 2021 season. And he had a streaky 2021. There are moments that were really, really good. There are moments that were not so good. And we're going to get through all of that and see if there's a chance that he could become a pro bowler in this upcoming year. So let's talk about the numbers. He started 13 games for the New York Jets. He had 110 tackles, two sacks, nine tackles for a loss, and three forced fumbles. Again, started 13 games, played in 16 with the New York Jets last year. And there's thing, there are things to like about him, but there are also some things that I question or, or that worry me for him in a regular role on a defense. Uh, so what to like? The speed, athleticism, the play strength. Those are all things that when you look at Quincy Williams, you say, okay, it's there. The speed. He feels like he's shot out of a cannon. That's definitely a plus when you're looking at him. He is running around like a maniac. He's a very athletic linebacker. Again, the, the speed is really the biggest thing for me. Um, and his ability to go sideline to sideline is a good thing. But, but the missed tackles are an issue. He was third worst in the NFL for linebackers and missed tackle rate. Um, far too often, he was just un, unable to tackle. Um, he's, he's not, he's not a very good tackler and the coverage ability is definitely something that scares me a little bit. Um, I just, with, with Quincy, I think he would really be best suited in a rotation role. I think his strengths obviously is useful on a 53 man roster, but my fear is that the more snaps he gets, if he's a regular linebacker, that he's going to be exposed for some of his his flaws. Um, again, there's a lot to like with Quincy Williams in, in terms of how he plays on the field and his effort level on the field. It, the consistency just isn't there, which is what scares me going into this year, having him as a regular. Because essentially what they did by not drafting a linebacker or by not signing one of free agency is put a full bill of confidence, a, a full bill of confidence, excuse me, into Quincy Williams. And based on what we saw in 2021, I don't think I'm there. Um, I'm not, but but if he is able to improve in the co in coverage ability, if he is able to cut down on the missed tackles and not be bottom three there, that will definitely help his chances of becoming a pro bowler. I'm just, I don't even want, I mean, obviously I would love for him to be a pro bowler, but what I was going to say is like my goal for him wouldn't be that it would be just be, uh, become an average starter. If they can get Quincy Williams to average starting level, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, they don't need like this defense doesn't need an absolute stud linebacker. If they get it great, it's just a plus. They need someone who could be league average. Can he be that? It's possible, but again, you, you have to be able to cut down on the missed tackles. Um, and I just, I wouldn't want him on the field as an every down linebacker because I feel like you're putting him in a position to fail. Um, I don't think that's his strength, unfortunately, but uh, the Jets really, really like him. They like him a lot. So what I am rooting for to happen is Robert Sala, who is good with linebackers. Obviously, that's a position that, he coached in this league before becoming a defensive coordinator and before be, and before becoming a head coach. 
I really hope that he's able to get the most out of Quincy Williams. And if so, yeah, there's some raw things to like there. But that's kind of where I'm at. He's very, very raw. And he's a little bit old. I mean, he's 25 years old. He's, I guess, 25 years old. Um, so it, it's it, it's do or die time now. You, 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 I feel like at this point in your career, you are what you are. But he's a late bloomer. If the Jets are able to get something out of him, that'd be great. Do I think it's going to be a Pro Bowl caliber season from Quincy Williams? No, I would be pretty surprised um, on the defensive side of the ball. If I had to pick Pro Bowl caliber uh, or Pro Bowl guesses, like I think his brother Quinnen has a chance to be a Pro Bowler. I think if Carl Lawson comes back and pops, he has a chance to be a Pro Bowler. Sauce in year one, I'm going to say probably not. Um, DJ Reed, maybe. I, I would say probably not, but I think he, he'd just be a plus starter. But if I had to pick... But the, if my guess, I guess for right now, if they, if you gave me three guesses on who was a Pro Bowler for this New York Jets on the defense, I'd probably go Quinnen. I'd probably go um, a Carl Lawson, and then I would probably go Sauce Gardner. Um, I hope they get it out of Quincy Williams. I'm just not sold on it. Let me know in the comments below where you're at with Quincy Williams being a regular on this team. Do you agree with the Jets? Do you see him as someone who could be a Pro Bowler? Let me know. Sound off in the comments. Get at me on social media. Subscribe if you're new. Give it a like. I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll talk to you next time.